Hi everyone, welcome to NAV, my name is Ali. Today's design is a fishnet lace design. I did this one to match a hairpiece that I wore to the Great Gatsby premiere, which you can see here. I've also done this design before with a baby pink, which I thought came out really cute. So what are you going to need for this look? Nail polish remover, cotton buds, a base coat and a top coat. The first time I did this design I actually used Klein Color in pastel pink, but for this design I'm going to use Klein Color in neon pink. LA Colors in black, a stamper, artistry nail color corrector pen or cotton buds, a scraper and the BM209 plate. Step 1 as always apply a base coat, I'm using Revlon's quick dry base coat. Step 2 is to apply a pink polish. I'm using Klein Color in Neon Pink. As mentioned in the past, I've done this design using a pastel pink color, but I'm just doing this in hot pink because I wanted to match that hair piece I showed earlier. For my stamping polish, I'm using LA Colors in Black, the Bundle Monster BM209 plate, a store card or a scraper, and a stamper. Three quick tips about stamping. When you're scraping, you're going to want to do this quite firmly, not too hard, otherwise you're going to get rid of the polish in the etched section. Tip to that rolling motion I'm doing over my nails, you'll also want to want to do it over the plate. This just makes sure that the whole design transfers both to the stamp and to your nail. Tip three is about cleaning. Clean your stamper, your scraper, and your plate every one or two times to make sure you get a nice, clean, crisp image. Step 5 is clean up. I'm using Artistry's Nail Color Corrector Pen. As always, you can use cotton buds dipped in nail polish remover. The final step is to apply a top coat. I'm using Revlon's Color Stay Top Coat. So that's it. I hope you all like this design. Let me know what you think about it. Feel free to post any comments and questions in the box below, otherwise on my Facebook. Flick me a tweet or you can leave me comments on my Beautylish. If you haven't already, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you next time.